welcome back, uh, Arbroath Beekeeping. Today we're going to do another hive inspection on the wooden hive. I uh, showed you the poly hive last week. I was a little bit concerned about the food. Uh, it is overcast today so they won't be too happy to see us. And uh, hopefully we're not too agitated and we get a good look. We've already seen the queen last week. Both hives are fine. Queens are laying prolific. Uh, I was worried about the food on the poly hive, not so worried about the wooden hive. Hopefully in the next few days there'll be uh, enough uh, sun and consistent days to keep them out and about gathering the food they need. So I'm on my own at the beginning here. Peter is due anytime soon and uh, we'll crack on. There we go. First like after your family. What's that? I'll be your first like after your family. <laughs> now, I've got another YouTube channel with about a thousand subscribers on it. Oh really? Yeah, I do. I do. I, I'm into computer games as well, so I do okay. a lot of computer game videos and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, right, let's get this smoking. Do you want to smoke the front end? Sure. So for the interest of the video, we're smoking the front to confuse the bees, it disrupts their communication. Give it a good, good, yeah. That we find out. And uh, you can hear the distinct sound of the bees make when they're, when they're good to go. I like to see all the gaps. Right, oops, off. The bee is there. Okay, she's annoyed. Now, let me just move this light viewing lens so that I can see that we're still recording. There we go. Oop. If you stand to the back of the hive, Peter, sure. good practice. Uh, if you stand at the front, you'll try to always go to the back. Something up there, filling that. Good. Just a wee general. Aye, that'll be fine. Happy days. So we just want to have a little look. Just, just, just drop that smoker down. Mm -hmm. down there. Untouched, apart from that. Need to actually get a frame. Untouched, that's fine. Build it out. Building it well. Fill in. See how it's almost. Yeah. That's almost. They're almost ready to cap that. See that? Mhm. Mm There's honey in it. Yeah. They're almost ready to start capping that. So. Uh, camera there. That's some cap and uh, we'll get a little close up here. That's some cap in the honey. We're starting to fill out the frames and then cap the honey. Hopefully we've not got oil seed drip. <laughs> I'm in for some trouble. That just makes your honey very solid. Yeah, to, to it's just impossible to get it out once it's in. And if you heat it, you can only use it as baker's honey, you can't sell it for human consumption. Okay. It's in raw in the jar. Yeah. It's only meant for cooking with. Okay. That's uh, another law that you've got to adhere to. See how it's. Mm. That's really cool. Mm. Don't feel the weight. 
got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, surprisingly heavy, isn't it? It is, isn't it? You got it? Yeah, got it. See how they're not interested in me? Yeah. They're interested in feeding. Well, that's cool. Next week, next two weeks, they'll be capped. Mm -hmm. And we'll uh, start off on it, they'll save with that. They've been busy. We'll be bringing our super down for them next week. Oh yeah, same as. See if they've drawn that out. Mm -hmm. It's not to fill on that side, but it's fill on the side closest to us. Yeah, they've drawn that out too. Busy, busy bees. Maybe these were damaged the last yeah. year. And the dark cells are pollen, aren't they? Rather yeah. Than honey. Yeah. yeah okay. See how they've fixed that? Yeah. They've cleaned it up and they've, they've not really done that side, but they've yeah. cleaned that side yeah. out, yeah. brought it back out. So I'm happy with that. Push them in. They're doing a fair bit of work. Just putting one frame back in. Happy with that. Right, so if you want to give them a good smoke again, mm -hmm. just because they're going to get agitated when I move them here. So we're busting off and we're just going to rest it against here at an angle. So she'll be the first one to go down. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not going to mess with our honeycomb this week. Uh, if they've built bark comb everywhere, I'm just going right. to leave it because I don't want to don't get focus their energy when it's come up to the honeycomb on fixing them. Oh, bark comb, that's heavy. There we go. Right. I mean, I'll clean this stuff off, but yeah. So we're looking for the queen. Make sure it's not on queen excluder. The queen's on queen excluder, and you put it down, she can fall out, potentially ruin your eyes. So we tend to always make sure commercial queen excluder has not got the queen on it before we place it down. I can't see the queen on it. I'm happy with that. Are you happy? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I can't see around. So we better to have a second set of eyes sometimes. Yeah. Right? No, I can't see. Right, if you want to bring a smoker up. Very good. Perfect. Side, so we're happy with that. We can stick that there. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of damaged coal on this side. We're happy with that. We need a place to spring next year. You don't seem to like it too much. So. Yeah, see how they're leaving it out? They might fill it, but we'll see. Why is it darker? It's just older coal. Okay. See how they've capped the honey? Yes, yeah. They're capping it there. Mm -hmm. okay. No, 
No cream. We'll take two of these out, I think. Just for... Uh, mm -hmm. Go the other way. Quick movement there, if you didn't like that. Oh, separate the frames with your hive tool, makes it easier. Yeah, less of a jerky movement, too. So they're, built, they're building that out. For mm -hmm. honey, that's good. Yeah, they're storing honey in there. Mm, so this is the younger hive, isn't it? This is the one from the new. No, this is the older hive. Oh, no, this is the older hive. Yeah, that's right. But this is an older queen too, so okay. she'll lay less than what she will. Okay. Can't see it. No, I don't see it. By removing two frames, it gives you space in here to work with a hive. Oh, they're not happy, you want to get a wee smoke on. On these ones here. Yeah, that's all good. That's how you can, you can feel it already. It's been moving it. And queen cells is what we're looking for too. I don't think she'll. Well, she could, but I doubt it. Mm, bumping me. Yeah, they're bumping me too. They're not happy. Yeah, you moved there, so they didn't like that. That didn't help, did it? <laughs> I don't see her there. No. I don't see her there. Happy to move on. We'll see how this one moves. Ah, yeah, give them a wee squirt. <laughs> They're a bit twitchy, aren't they? Yeah, today? like the overcast. The overcast. They're, they're not. Ah, oh, that was. Yeah, not good. Now you'll do this, everyone makes mistakes. No, there's no stopping it. That's not what you want to do though. Larvae. Oh, I want to see the queen on this one, that's for sure. I'm looking for eggs. They're not happy. You can sometimes be agitated if they've not got a queen as well, so you've okay. got to be mindful. Not larvae there. Plenty of larvae, I've not seen any queen though. Still plenty to go. We saw her last week now, didn't we? Yeah. A lot can happen in a week. Oh yeah. See her, do you? No, no, I haven't seen her anywhere. No. Let's have a little look elsewhere. Angry. No, that's fine, we're just angry. Oh, I see eggs, I see eggs. Okay. I'm happy. So I know. Bottom right hand corner, there's eggs. Uh, 
she's been here one three to one to three days. She'll be hiding behind this bird comb. Mm -hmm. The drawback of having not as many frames in your eyes to do things like this and you're fighting it all year, but I'm not going to touch it this year. This, uh, But then again, how am I going to see? Yeah, let me just take this off, I think. Make sure she's not on it. There she is. See her hiding? Yes, yeah. Uh, Mark's wearing off, so we might queen cage her at some point. Queen catch her and mark her, remark her again with white. We're happy. Mm -hmm. There's no queen cells there. Right, great. But we will go through the rest. She's on the far side of that one at the minute. Actually, the way it explodes into it, to be honest, she's got a lot of brood frames there. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a wee queen cell tucked away somewhere. your daughter think of the honeycomb when you showed her. Oh, lovely. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. That's quite nice. Very good. Yeah, I'm getting off some. I think one's on the neck somewhere. But You know, that's what's good about this poly hive, it's got like a raised ridge so you don't squash bees under the lugs. Yeah. yeah. And I think the next hives I go will be polys, I think. Uh, yeah, honey stores. Mm -hmm. Capped a wee bit drawn out this. So. Yep. Fantastic. I worked on that last one and too. The other one's been drawn out a little bit, but not much. Yeah. It's in solid like. So. Mm -hmm. Not it's fine. Happy days. So we're happy with that. Let's get these placed back. Come on, little fellas. Let's go. There we go. 
so we're happy with that. Leave this board cone. I thought, no, I won't. I'll just uh, let it go. When we go with the Queen Excluder, stops the Queen from coming up into the super frames, which we're waiting to put back on. Oh, it's clear me. I'm going to put that down and feel the weight. You got it? Yep. Oh, that's, yeah. that's not even, yeah. not even half full. Yeah. Yeah. Some way, eh? Doing well. Gonna square everything up. On goes the crown board. Happy with that. So see when we're separating the supers? Yeah. So we take the crown board and we move it below the super. So that they all come out. So the bees are then up here above the crown yeah, board. And they can only come out they feel and trapped. get back in. Yeah, they feel trapped. So it's an instinct in them. Once they feel trapped, they'll go through here, migrate through these port of bees gates, which I'll probably replace with brand new ones this season. See it? Mm -hmm. Let's try to figure it out. These ones are not the greatest. Yeah, but that's that's what happens, eh? So they'll feel trapped, and they'll just try to look. They'll try to gravitate beneath. Then we'll go with that. Make sure we're good. We're happy with that. So everything's perfect. Good. Maybe worry this one might swarm, so we might look. This one? Yeah, so we might bring down the hive. We'll feed our next week with some honey. Sugar syrup. Because once you put them into a nucleus, you want to start feeding them heavy. Okay. Yeah, uh, they won't be taking any honey from the nucleus or anything anyway. No. Uh, but you want to feed them as much as possible, so you know, you know, it's only brood frames in there, mm -hmm. the nucleus, so you've not got to worry about extracting anything. So you can just feed them solid sugar syrup. Right the way through until okay. they just don't take any more. Okay. Uh, and they'll winter in that. And Got then you. next year. Got you. Okay. The same situation again, we'll go into yes. a new poly hive. So that concludes the video. Hopefully that's been helpful. A little bit of mistakes, you've seen me moving the hive too quick. Uh, the bees don't like it. Moving the frames, jerking the frames, they just come and they bounce you, that's their warning. They keep bouncing you, and then after that they'll sting. They'll never sting first initially. So that's always a, a, a tip. And that is us. Great. Happy days. Oh, no. Went on my hat.